there! I'm Sierra. I'm the Trash to Treasure columnist for the Orion. Today, we're going to talk about upcycling t-shirts into these cute little headbands. Uh, this is actually my practice one, and you can see um, it's pretty adorable. Okay. So, for step one, you need to cut the bottom section of the t-shirt off from the top. Now, you're going to want it to be a few inches wide. Mine is about three inches. Now, once we cut off this bottom section, we're also going to cut off a little bit wider, and this area is going to be for our, um, the band of our headband. So, we're actually going to cut three strips. I'm thinking about you know, an inch-ish. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut those right off. The reason we're cutting three strips is that we're actually going to braid this to make the headband. Don't worry about them being too even. Uh, you can tell I'm not. <laughs> we're gonna braid them together so no one will really see. Okay, now go ahead and cut those open at um, one area so you'll have three strips. My t-shirt doesn't have a seam here, so I'm just cutting anywhere. But if yours has a seam, you might want to cut off at the seam. Now, the reason I have this ruler out here is that for the... Um, flower, which is what we're going to work with first, not the three small strips we just cut. For the flower, you want to make sure that your thing, you can't really see it here on the screen, but you want to go all the way up to the end of a, a yard, this is a yardstick, so we have 36 inches on here. So you're going to take your yard of fabric, and um, you're just going to start twisting it. Notice how as I twist both ends, it starts to kind of curl itself back over. It wants to wrap up. That's a good thing. We're actually going to use that to our advantage. Then you're going to fold it in half. Pull it all the way nice and tight and then just kind of let it do its thing here. See, look at that. I'm just kind of waving it around. It wants to curl up. Now that's going to be the center of our flower. Okay, now that our flower is done, we're going to start working on the rest of the headband. When I made my practice one, I actually cut this really short and had just the right amount and ran out, but now I've got kind of the opposite thing going on here where I've still got like, you know, feet of this thing. So we've got our knot at that end, our knot at this end. Now 
I'm actually going to wait and not cut it off yet. I'm just going to go ahead and tie this. Let's see, I'm going to tie the ends of the beginning to the new end here so that it stays together. Now it's up to you. You could cut this off so that it looks more like a headband. For now, I think I'm going to leave it because I think it has this cool kind of artistic effect. Make sure we tie this a couple times here. Here's a couple of the different strands. Get it nice and tight. Okay. So now we've got this all nice and tied together. Now we're going to put some glue on here. And this is actually what's going to adhere our flower to the headband, so don't be too shy with the glue. Cool, now it's stuck on there, just like that. There's our headband, there's our flower, and here's my ends here, which I think are lovely, and you're welcome to go ahead and cut yours off if you'd like. We're done. That's it. All there is to it, let it dry a little bit before you put it on your head, and that's all. Thanks for watching. Hey, in case you're wondering what the final result was, this is it. I left on little tails and I tucked them around kind of like a scarf. You can tie them up, do whatever. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out more in theorion.com.